<clears throat> obviously it didn't go our way tonight. I thought we got a lot of great looks. The ball just didn't go in. I mean, it really was a story of them. We just didn't make any shots at what we needed to. I thought our guys played hard. I thought we uh, executed what we were trying to do. Uh, it just we just didn't make, make the shots when we needed to. But I'm, I can't tell you how proud I am of these guys uh, coming from where we've been and, and uh, fighting and battling all the way. I'm so proud of them. They're six of six ten guy. How, how did how did he kind of impact the game? You know, beyond just what well, I don't think it was just uh, offensively. I think it was defensively. He, just him being around on the court. I think might, maybe it affected us going to the rim. Uh, you know, we talked about if we see him to, to kick it out uh, and then maybe drive it back again. And uh, I thought we did that. We just. John's a six foot ten guy with a seven four wingspan. You just don't see that every day in high school. Coach, the adjustments you made in the second half defensively, um, you, the Boca did not get anything too easy early, and a lot of times you made some stops and everything. If if y'all would have made a lot of the shots, could it be a big well, difference yeah, in the ball I think game? We win the game, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I think Rodney did a phenomenal job on on, on him. I mean. He pushed him down like we had worked on. He kicked him out when he was supposed to, but it was really the pressure on the guards was the reason that they, they, he didn't get the basketball. And we turned him over. We just either didn't make the three that was wide open or we missed a layup for whatever reason. And, when, and you know, when you get here in this in this uh, thing, you just never know what's going to happen. You know, and, uh, but I think it worked. It just, we just didn't make the shots, and that's okay. I mean, it, you don't always make them. For the players, can you kind of just talk about the, the experience of getting this far of the season? Uh, it was nice. Uh, I love them guys, and I wish I could have won it tonight. But uh, yeah, going up and down um, every year, starting the off, um, coming in eighth grade, ninth grade, coach was a big. So that's just evolved and getting better as a team going through the years, and now I had a chance to. Right, it seemed like your confidence again, just like just like the quarterfinal. Great start, and you made some huge plays right there, and and you you really just it was really in you early, and you kind of really kept it going throughout the game. What are your thoughts on the performance? Uh, really, the whole year I've been having that confidence of if I, I don't play well, my team's not gonna win. So just me having that confidence, me playing well, often is just saying my team for my team. Uh, Rodney, just talk about defending the big kid. I mean, have you ever, uh, first of all, have you ever defended someone like that? And then just tell me what your mindset was coming into the game and like adjustments you had to make during the game. Uh, I've been playing people way bigger than me since I was young, just because of my size, because I'm, I'm big. So I've been playing against people six, seven, I was six foot, six one. So really, this, this is a good experience for me playing um, next year for college too, as I'm looking to play um, in and out. Um, Cam, what what you can say about you know this season and everything, the way you guys played and everything, and also you know, and I know now you're going to be the leader now of this team. I know you've been leading, but I know next year you this is going to be your last year. What you can say about this season going into next year? I know you're going to be hungry and ready to go again. We are. We had a good season. Done a little short, but we had a great season. And coach, can you put into perspective just what? guys have been able to accomplish this season and really, I mean, I know it, it hurts right now, but how much fun you guys have really collectively had this year? I mean, the memories that we've had this year are, are priceless, and, and these two guys, I can't put into words how much I appreciate these two guys, and, and all my seniors, Isaiah Barnes and, and uh, Austin LaSalle, and, and our manager, Dylan Vo and Gene Baquet, and like, what, what those guys have done for our community has been unbelievable. I mean, we've packed the house at every game. Y'all y'all have been there. I mean, 1,200 people, 1,300 people at, at, at every game. And, and it's a testament to the, to the kids and what kind of people that they are. And, and, and that's the – what I was telling them in there. They, this was a great team. We Obviously, we didn't win tonight, but we, we have a great team. And uh, – I'll go to war with these guys any day against any team.
I know a state championship would have been more sweeter if you guys were Catholic League champions. Just to see that there is still a representative in the championship game, does that really speak to just how tough the conference was and, and really how that's such a milestone for you guys to win the Catholic League? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's that was a feat of 22 years, you know, so obviously it was a big feat. And, you know, hopefully Curtis goes out there and plays well. Um, to be honest with you, it almost stings that, that it's them in there instead of us more than anything. I think it's great for them. Obviously, they've come on late and they've played well. Um, but um, we feel like we should be there. And, and, and if the third quarter goes a little bit differently, I think that we will be. And then that's just kind of how it was. But I'm so proud of our team and, and, our, and our school. And I'm happy uh, about our season. 26-6, I guess it was, or something. I don't know, I've got to stop counting.